Hello all, GC Game here, and this is Total War Warhammer, the top 5 mods. So I'm looking at the first week after Total War Warhammer has been released, and these are the top 5 mods, in my opinion, that you can get from the Steam Workshop for absolutely free, which will enhance your Total Warhammer playthrough. So the first mod we're going to look at is the Better Camera mod from Cam2150. You can find this on the Steam Workshop. To do that, you can go to the Community Hub of Total War Warhammer by right-clicking and clicking on View Community Hub. Once the Community Hub loads, you go across to Workshop, and you will get the most popular mods. As you can see, the Better Camera mod is the most popular mod on the Steam Workshop, created by Cam2150, so thank you very much, Cam. Uh, this mod is pretty simple, but it basically creates a better camera. You can have better, more suitable uh, views for both closer and further camera heights. Uh, a few little simple presses of buttons to get better cinematic views and in order to zoom more. So it's a simple mod, one I've subscribed to and one I would recommend. The second mod we're going to be looking at is the Conquer Anywhere mod by Dresden. It also includes extra diplomatic options. This was a mod that was well touted by Total War Warhammer um, Creative Assembly and of course the community managers involved in Total War Warhammer. Dresden created this mod to basically get rid of the regional occupation. So you can now be a vampire army and take over a dwarven stronghold. Or you can be a green skin army and take over the empire. So pretty much you can conquer any single city that you can see. So there's a few other versions which will uh, change different parts of how you can conquer and who you can conquer and so on. But basically, if you subscribe to the Conquer Anywhere and Diplomatic Options uh, mod, you'll then get a choice in the mod manager of Total War Warhammer. Um, you'll get the choice of turning on or off mods. So all you have to do is open up Total War Warhammer and you can either turn on or turn off these mods. And as well, if you decide that you've played for a while on Conquer Anywhere and you want to go back to the base game, you can easily just unsubscribe from the mod and delete it from your PC. So this is a nice mod. Uh, it's one that was touted by Creative Assembly before the game for those who didn't really like the idea of regional occupation. Thirdly, we have another mod touted by the Cre Creative Assembly before the game's launch, which is Legendary Lord Unique Start Positions. So instead of having all of the Legendary Lords starting in the same place, now the secondary Legendary Lords will start in a slightly different place. So if you're Balthasar Ghent for the Empire, you will now start in Stirland. Azeg the Slaughterer will start in Black Venom. Ungrum Ironvist will start in Karak Kadrin and Heinrich Kemmler will start in Schwarzhafen rather than Castle Templehof. So this doesn't include the Chaos Lords alternate starting positions, but apart from that, if you just want a little change with the game um, that will make it a little bit more unique for the Legendary Lord you choose, then this is a mod you subscribe to. Again, it's pretty simple to subscribe to these. It's the same as downloading the mod, basically. As you can see, it's downloading in the background. You click on subscribe, and when you go to Total War Warhammer, and you can choose whether to use that mod or not use that mod. So I'm going to untick it for now. I'm going to untick actually both mods for now just to show you how you do that. Our fourth mod that we're looking at is the resized Lords and Heroes mod by Lefarian. So this is a mod that basically changes the size of the Legendary Lords. For some reason, Creative Assembly thinks that all Legendary Lords are about 8 foot tall, as you can see here. All this mod does is make them a more realistic size, so it's a simple mod that changes the size of all Dwarf, Vampire and Human Legendary Lords, because really they should be the size of normal soldiers, or close to, rather than giants. So again, a nice simple mod which will change things slightly, but it's not a big change, it's not going to um, 
do big things to your game if you like to have the base game it's a simple mod that will slightly change the height of some legendary lords and hopefully make the cinematic experience of Total War Warhammer a little bit more realistic. Last but not least and the one I'm most excited about is the Radius Total War mod of course created by Radius. This is a mod I'm really excited to use. I actually haven't used it yet, I haven't even subscribed to it yet and the reason why is because I want to finish the base game first with my vampire accounts which is what I'm doing my Total War series on, little plug there, before I actually download the Radius mod and use that in the second campaign that I'm going to do which I'm not sure who I'm going to do it with so if you have suggestions let me know in the comments below. But this mod is probably the most famous mod from the most famous modder for the Total War series. The Radius Total War mod Warhammer. From the award winning team and from the creators of the most subscribed mods on Steam Workshop for Total War games comes another major modification. This time for brand new Total War Warhammer. So the change list is as follows. There's a new morale system uh, which creates longer and more interesting battles. There's big differences between the races and each race behaves differently. Uh, battles last longer all units are rebalanced in terms of health, stats, ammo, and leadership. There's wider differences between various w weapons. Uh, complete rebalance of all projectiles. So there's uh, different ranges and so on. Reload times and so on. Units and abilities are slightly rebalanced. Rebalance level up bonuses. And fatigue numbers and its effects are rebalanced. So that's during the battle changes. Campaign changes are the economy is rebalanced and reworked, changes to religion, cultural conversion and population growth, all building effects are rebalanced, costs are rebalanced for buildings, ambush chance increased, garrisons are slightly improved, unit upkeep is reduced by 50% from more possible armies on the battlefield, the experience system is rebalanced, several technologies are rebalanced, the diplomacy is rebalanced, skill point changes, all generals get from level 1 to 10 2 skill points and 11 to 30 3 skill points. That's interesting. And all agents or heroes as they're called in Total War Warhammer get each level 2 skill points. Military moral numbers edited, slightly reduced effects of vampire accounts and chaos territory attrition, rebalanced conquest decisions, and raising available only for chaos and its related factions and servants. For the AI, they have reworked the AI recruitment system, so the AI will now have improved recruitment and the AI will build more balanced armies with a larger variety of units. They'll also rebalance the AI campaign difficulty bonuses. On higher difficulties, it will be a real challenge for players. Graphic changes will also happen. So there is a they added a new logo to the main menu representing that you know the mod is activated. Remove dust effects when arrows hit the ground, and remove dust effects when the army marches on places where no dust would ever appear. There has been changes since the mod was first introduced. Um, but this is the most updated changes, the 29th of the 5th, 2016, which is today. So, thank you once again for watching. These are, in my opinion, the best mods for Total War Warhammer right now after week one. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more Total War Warhammer action.